This video is sponsored by Wondrium. You can sign up for a free trial and support us by clicking the link in the description. A team of scientists created a black hole in a lab and then it mysteriously started glowing. Specifically, they created a black hole's event horizon under laboratory conditions using a chain of atoms. The glow might finally shed light on how black holes radiate in the form of Hawking radiation and, in the bigger picture, the aspects of quantum gravity. The event horizon of a black hole is the point of no return. The gravitational force at that boundary is so powerful that even light, the fastest known entity in the universe, cannot escape. In 1974, English theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking proposed a mechanism of black hole evaporation via black body radiation known as Hawking radiation. The mathematics of Hawking radiation tells us that it would take more than 10 to the power of 100 years for astrophysical black holes to evaporate via this phenomenon. Also, the energy emitted by these black holes is so less that we cannot detect it even with the most advanced technology at our disposal. This is because any signal would get lost against the noise of the cosmic microwave background. That's the main reason Hawking radiation has never been detected. But now, a team of physicists has detected similar radiation in the lab. So, how did they discover it? How is Hawking radiation of black holes linked with quantum mechanics? Finally, and most importantly, how will this study bring us closer to the unified theory of everything? Hawking radiation emerges from a theoretical framework called quantum field theory, or QFT, a combination of classical physics, special relativity, and quantum mechanics. According to the quantum field theory, the vacuum isn't really empty. Instead, it is full of virtual particles which emerge and vanish in pairs out of nowhere in space. These virtual particles cause vacuum fluctuations. In other words, they cause a random change in the amount of energy in space. The virtual particles always appear and vanish in pairs of a particle and an antiparticle. Since these particles appear without a source of energy, they are said to violate the energy conservation law. When a pair of particles is created, one of the particles has positive energy, whereas the other one has negative energy. Although the net energy of the pair is still zero, this can cause a violation of energy conservation, but this is theoretically allowed because the particle and antiparticle annihilate each other within a time window provided by the energy time Heisenberg principle. However, there is another twist. Sometimes the negative energy particle crosses the event horizon and gets absorbed by the black hole, but on one condition, that the particle moves radially inwards towards the black hole so the negative energy particle from the vacuum fluctuation gets absorbed by the black hole without violating the uncertainty principle. In contrast, the positive energy particle is freed and escapes into infinity. As a result, the black hole loses energy to the vacuum fluctuation due to the negative energy particle, whereas the energy of the rest of the universe increases because of the positive energy particle. But this still does not sit right, because how is it possible that a pair of particles is created out of nowhere? The answer to this is the black hole's intense gravity. These particles are believed to appear near the event horizon of the black hole due to disturbance in the space-time caused by the black hole's strong gravity. But more importantly, the mass of the black hole itself is converted into energy that escapes out of the event horizon. Therefore, Hawking radiation reduces the mass and energy of the black hole. To understand what the researchers did, it's important to know the nature of Hawking radiation in the first place. So, what does it look like? Hawking radiation acts like a black body radiation with a Planck spectrum, meaning the nature of thermal radiation being emitted by the black hole is similar to the radiation coming from a star. This is important because it means that the temperature of the radiation 
is inversely related to the mass of the black body. So the larger a black hole, the lesser its temperature, and the longer it will take to evaporate. For reference, a solar mass black hole would take 10 raised to the power 64 years to evaporate. On the other hand, a supermassive black hole with a mass of 100 billion solar masses would evaporate in 2 into 10 raised to the power 100 years. Hawking radiation has remained elusive for a long time because it's too faint to detect from supermassive black holes. However, since its discovery can lead to groundbreaking results in physics and astronomy, scientists tried to study its nature through lab-grown black hole analogs. A team from the University of Amsterdam conducted a detailed analysis of Hawking radiation from the synthetic horizon by changing certain conditions to make Hawking radiation purely thermal. To begin with, they created a one-dimensional chain of atoms for electrons to hop from one atomic site to another to replicate the hopping of particles around the event horizon. The warping of space-time due to the presence of a black hole was mimicked by tuning how easily electrons can hop between each site. Through this, they could create a synthetic event horizon. When the team extended the chain of atoms beyond the synthetic horizon, the effect of Hawking radiation was seen. There were three critical conclusions from this experiment. The first is that the radiation was thermal only under specific conditions of spatial variation of the hopping probability, which means that real Hawking radiation may also only be purely thermal in certain situations. The second is that entanglement is necessary for Hawking radiation. The entanglement of particles is essentially a quantum mechanical effect that explains how two particles are linked despite their vast separation. The team observed that Hawking radiation is directly connected with an entanglement between objects on either side of the horizon. Finally, they concluded that Hawking radiation requires a change in the warping of space-time it only occurred when the model system started without any spatial variation of hopping probabilities, mimicking flat space-time without any horizon before it was changed into one hosting a synthetic black hole. As exciting as Hawking radiation sounds, some implications impact the rest of the universe. First, through Hawking radiation, a black hole interacts with the universe. As its mass keeps reducing, the energy of the universe keeps increasing. This is how black holes thermally interact with the universe. Second, Hawking radiation leads to the evaporation of the black hole. If the black hole is isolated and not feeding on any surrounding star, it is eventually reduced to nothing. So Hawking radiation implies that black holes are not eternal objects of the universe. With time, they too will vanish. But an interesting thing happens near the end of the black hole. Since the temperature of the radiation increases with decreasing mass of the black hole, the radiation temperature skyrockets towards the end. Such black holes with low mass are most likely to emit high-energy radiation in the form of powerful jets of particles. So the endpoint of black holes is most likely violent explosions in the form of X-rays and gamma rays. The study of Hawking radiation could open new windows into high-energy physics and astroparticle physics. In the bigger picture, studying analog black holes and Hawking radiation will pave the way to explore the interplay of quantum mechanics and the gravitational field that may lead to the unified theory of quantum gravity. If you're curious about the universe and have always wanted to study astronomy and astrophysics from the beginning, there's a brilliant course on Wondrium. Today's sponsor, by the name Introduction to Astrophysics, taught by Professor Joshua Wynn of Princeton University. This course takes you step-by-step -step through major topics of astrophysics, including gravity, black holes event horizon, stars, galaxies, and much more. The 24-episode series touches on all major topics in astronomy and astrophysics. You'll learn what secrets are hidden in the spectrum of celestial objects, what happened in the first few minutes of the universe, 
What happens when stars grow old? The basics of radio and X-ray telescopes, and much more. Not only that, you can find courses on several other topics including dark matter, the Higgs boson, the Big Bang Theory, and even the James Webb Space Telescope. And the best part is that Wondrium is offering a free trial now. All you need to do is click the link in the description or go to wondrium.com slash the secrets of the universe and find answers to all things you never imagined and would wonder about. They have a carefully curated and constantly evolving library of long-form videos, tutorials, documentaries, how-to videos, and much more. In addition, you can watch Wondrium just from anywhere, laptop, TV, mobile, and even download a course or series and listen like a podcast. The new year is the perfect time to invest in yourself, and Wondrium is the best place to begin. Show your support for our channel by subscribing to Wondrium now. Seriously, your brain is going to love it.